Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. If you want to be a better tarantula keeper or just admire these amazing animals, make sure to subscribe to the channel, comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be rehousing my female Syriopagopus species Hattie Hattie into a brand new bioactive enclosure. It's going to be a fun one. They're feisty, defensive, old world Asian arboreals. My favourites. Let's rehouse it. So here we go, we are about to rehouse this Syriopagopus Hattie Hattie. Now he hasn't been cleaned out in a little while. The reason being is it went into pre-malt a while back <clears throat> and I really, really, really didn't want to disturb it. So I've just let it sit there and then last night I saw it out here on the glass and it had molted so I thought okay here's my chance to rehouse it and clean up this enclosure so that's exactly what I plan to do and I'm also going to give it a bioactive enclosure just to make it look a bit nicer when I first put them in this enclosures I had every intention of eventually one day putting them into much better much cleaner much nicer enclosures so that is what we are doing you know I have no idea where this spider is it's probably in the bottom of this cork tube. So what I'm gonna do is face it this way. It's probably in all this web in here. Which makes life awkward because that is a pretty big opening and it could be anywhere in here and this is a very 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 defensive old world species oh I see feet oh there it is absolute beauty all right what we're going to do is we're just going to try and get it straight into the catch cup and then I'll give you a better view of it. Hopefully this is very, 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 very straightforward. Come on. In the bop. There you go. Beautiful. That wasn't difficult at all. And there she is nicely in the catch tube. Now this is only a small juvenile but she does have a lot of attitude on her normally. Normally she's throwing up fret postures and you know a nightmare to rehouse so I'm really glad that that was so straightforward and so simple she was well behaved for once. I like that. Good girl. Here we are with a quick time lapse of the enclosure build. Just quickly throwing it together so I don't bore you during the video. 
but let's talk about it now. So here we have the new enclosure. I quickly knocked it together. There's not a lot of space in these 20 by 20 by 30s to make them all big and elaborate. I reused the cork bark that she was in because she seemed to like that. Obviously, I added the live plant, the clay balls down the bottom, the drainage layer. I also added my own substrate, which everyone always asks me is just cocoa fiber, topsoil, and vermiculite. And of course, we put the water dish in there. So now this is all set up and ready for her, we can stick her in there. So here we go with the rehousing. She is still being very good inside the catch tube. You can't really see it too well in there. Here, let me get some more light. Can't really see her too well in there. But hopefully, once we get her in there, I'll be able to give you a much, much, much better view of her. Now keep in mind if you are thinking of getting one of these as beautiful as they are, they are an old world Asian arboreal. So they can be very feisty, very defensive, and it's definitely not a species that you want to get tagged by, by any stretch of the imagination. So I am going to take this cautiously and calmly and try and get her in there with as little, as little hassle as possible. Now I'm going to open it up front first. So if she does decide to bolt, the only way she can go is into the new enclosure. <laughs> but she's gone straight up the catch tube. Just what I didn't want at all. There she is down the other end. They are quick. They are a very, 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 very quick species. Which is why I'm being very cautious and very respectful, trying not to freak her out when I take the lid off. Now she's being a bit more cooperative. Here you go. Now you can see them stunning, stunning beautiful markings on her. Beautiful abdomen coloration. Beautiful carapace. I do love the patterns on the Syriopagabus Hattie Hattie. So let's talk a little bit about care and husbandry of this species. Like I said, it is an Asian old world. And they do appreciate a little bit of moisture. They are classed as arboreals, which is why I've given it this cork bark inside this cork bark tube and given it the 20 by 20 by 30 enclosure. But I have noticed that given the substrate, these also can go against that and do sometimes make a burrow and go for soil. So that's why I've given it quite a bit of substrate at the back so it can decide. But if it wants to, it can burrow into here and it can have the best of both worlds. Temperature wise, I keep mine at 24 degrees during the day and 18 degrees at night. Feeding wise, at this size, I'm still feeding this large crickets every other day. And yeah, that's it. Their, their growth rate, I'll say medium. I've had this girl for two, maybe three years and she's still two inches. Maybe a bit more once she's fully stretched out. We'll say two and a half, as you can tell by my finger, using it for size. But she's gonna get a very big girl. 
these do get to a good six inches and very beautiful behavior wise like I said earlier they are very defensive so they do strike up threat poses so I definitely don't recommend these as a beginner species but if you're thinking about getting into Cereopagopus, these are very cheap and readily available, which make them great. The colours are stunning as well. The purple colourations on them, as you saw earlier, and that beige colour carapace. This is a species that everyone should have in their collection at one point or another. But anyway, I'm going to leave her there to get settled in and enjoy her new surroundings. So there you have it, a very smooth rehouse of a normally very defensive species. But this time she was very calm, collected, managed to get her from the old enclosure into the new enclosure without any hassle, which is always great. So I'm gonna leave her there to get settled in and finish this video here. But before we go, I want to take the time to remind you guys about the 2,000 subscriber giveaway we've got going on the channel. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be giving one of you the chance to win a T Celadonia. And if that's not enough for you, I'm also throwing in a Ferrophosa Apophysis. All you have to do to be entered is be subscribed to the channel, go over and watch my Grammar Stola Rosea video and comment T Celadonia down in the comments. Once you've done that, you'll be entered. Looking forward to seeing all you new people watching the channel for the first time entering that giveaway. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to do it. So now all that's been said, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say have a great day. Have a great week. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.